Hi, welcome to our remote learning series, How Do Students Access Credits in the Student Portal? This uh, video is designed for teachers and students to understand how students are able to access credits within the student portal in SIS. So uh, prior to getting to this point, uh, the teacher should have assigned the credit in SIS. Uh, note that that's different than assigning the class. They actually have to go in and assign the credit uh, that they want the students to be able to access. So the first thing is we need students to be able to log in. And so uh, there are a couple ways that they can do this. Uh, but the first thing or first way is that they can go to their school website. So in this case, uh, dhcentralcharter.org. And all of our school websites look very much the same. And they all have the same navigation. So you would go to info and then student info and then SIS login. Alternatively, if they wanted to navigate straight there, they could navigate to uh, the name of the charter dot parentstudentportal.com. So uh, using another charter, I could do cvwest dot parentstudentportal.com and that would take me right to the login page. So uh, something that you can do uh, and also notice that if you go through the website, it takes you right to that same uh, uh, same website as well. Uh, so another thing that you can do is you can uh, click on this forgot uh, your username and password link. So if you do that, uh, what will come up is uh, this username or email address. I would recommend uh, using that username. Uh, it tends to be a little bit more successful than the email address and you just uh, drop your uh, email address in there and click reset request reset password email and that would send an email to your Google email address uh, to reset your password and that's for a student to do that. Um, students if you're having problems with your Google password uh, go ahead and reach out to your teacher and then teachers go ahead and send that uh, email to edtech at learnforlife.org um, and if you include the full email address that'll help uh, the edtech team be able to reset that password the quickest for your students. So. Um, I have uh, my kind of fake student in our uh, test account ready to go. Uh, and so let's go ahead and log her in and see what this looks like. So um, I'm going to get her going. Um, also, just a quick note, the default password for uh, the SIS accounts, if students have never logged in before, is going to be L for L Google exclamation point. That's a capital L, number four, capital L, capital G with lowercase O-O-G-L-E exclamation point. So once you're logged in, it will take you to a login page. And because this is our test site, the login page is going to look a little bit different, but the navigation is all going to be the same. So uh, if we uh, go ahead and we'll click on assignments and grades, and we'll see that Algebra 1 class that we assigned in the last video is ready to go for that student. We click on view assignments. And we see that we have an assignment right here, um, module one, credit one, and this first uh, thing right up here says complete learning events packet. And you also notice it has a little blue uh, play icon right there. If we click on the blue icon, it's going to give us uh, a link to the uh, materials for this credit, um, the learning events packet, and then there's also some flipped video instruction notes in the algebra course. So if I click on this uh, credit one learning event packet, it's going to open up the LEP for me. Um, in our next video, we are going to go over some uh, tools that we have to uh, get students uh, editing and annotating these PDFs uh, right on their computer so they don't have to print them out. And uh, it's really kind of some cool options that will um, allow the student to complete the packet digitally.